Hey guys, Ben with KCT here. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe because all these things are free and, well, free is awesome. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at today an LPVO from Monster Room Tactical. This is my first impressions of the unit, the unit and what I think about it. Guys, make sure you comment your favorite low priced, mm, fully featured LPVO down there in the comments below. It really helps us out. So, this optic right here. For Monster Tactical, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it gave me gas. So, what I forgot first ordered this thing, and this is their um, Laden series, which is kind of a weird name. Um, but when I went ahead and ordered this, it was on sale in their deals section for 89 bucks with the mouth and everything included, which is a pretty smoking deal. And when I looked at it, the picture that I saw, it showed the reticle with like the square uh, little box reticle that they have. And I was like, okay, cool. I can, I can work with that. So I went ahead and ordered it. Finally got here today. Um, you know, free shipping, so it wasn't too bad. Got here like, like three or four days. And, you know, not a big deal. Opened it up. And it is not the, um, the box reticle that I was looking for. It is, in fact... A simple wire like duplex like crosshair type reticle um, that was very disappointing to me um, I and the thing that really sucks is that I um, check out as a guest from their website so I don't actually have um, the order left it's basically itself uh, so I'll say I go check on your order and then when I go ahead and log in um, it doesn't have that order in there anymore so I can't see what it was like really supposed to be or what it was on sale as so it's probably my fault, um, it's probably something that I did as far as not paying attention to what I was looking at, and that's okay. So what we're going to do is review my $90 mistake, and see what we think. So I don't like the reticle, obviously, that is a given there. Um, we can, I'll try to roll in some footage of the actual reticle itself, but if you've seen one crosshair reticle, you've seen pretty much all of them. Now, it does illuminate red and green. Um, and it does not get daylight bright, and there is no dot in the center um, for a precise aiming point that you can use very quickly. It's a second focal plane, which I really hoped that it was going to be the one with the proper reticle because second focal planes I particularly love because their performance on one X. In this case, you have your well crosshairs, so we'll see how fast we can get with those. I'm not going to go ahead and return this. Unless they see this and they're like, oh, well, we're going to get you something else, um, which would be kind of cool, but yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's, it is what it is. Um, like I said, I'm, I wish I had paid a little bit more attention to it. I know that they didn't really provide a whole lot of details on the website about it. Um, so I kind of figured, you know, kind of get what you get, but I did hope that, um, that I'd, I'd chosen the right one. And apparently I didn't. Again, this is not a slam on Monster and Tactical. Uh, I do wish your website was maybe a little bit more fleshed out. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of information on this reticle or the uh, the optic itself um, when I went ahead and looked at it online. Um, so I kind of just pulled the trigger blind, if you will. And you get what you get. So the mount is pretty slick, and I do like the way that they set it up. Uh, it is a nice cantilever mount, so you do have that nice section of eye relief there you can go ahead and get a good good set of relief on the, uh, the optic and what's nice is that I mean, even from back here you know I do have good eye relief on the optic now if I want to go up to like six power then you're, you're really kind of getting into the, the optic itself you're kind of smooshing down in there but for 1x things like that not bad at all they do give you a throw lever on here as well you can see there um, and it's funny because it's hollow, so save a little bit of weight there. There we go. You guys can actually see, even from the other side, the crosshair reticle. How exciting that is. Um, but the action is smooth as far as rotating it over. Uh, it's not bad at all. Um, doesn't feel too, too bad as far as the actual movements and functions. The turrets are capped, which I personally like. And you can go ahead, and they say that you can take off the turret top of the coin. As you see, that might be a little bit difficult unless you have a coin that is an Allen wrench. Um, 
but these are zero resettable turrets. They are tactile and audible. Nothing too special as far as all that goes. Um, so you can go ahead and remove these, set them to zero, plunk them back on. Um, just your basic turrets. Now, they are set to be half MOA, so got a half inch of adjustment at 100 yards per click. And so, I mean, that's pretty standard for this type of scope. It's, it's kind of coarse, but it's one of those things that I can definitely live with. Um, I'm definitely not as precise as some shooters out there, so some guys are like, oh God, I gotta have, you know, one quarter, I gotta have something like that. But that's not me. So, I definitely like the mount that it comes in, uh, or comes with. You go ahead and install that there, and it does have, for each of these four screws, you can see there, they are recessed into like a recoil stop, which is cool, because you actually have a recoil stop in the middle of your optics mount that the screw is going to be in already. So instead of doing like a full channel, they do sort of a recoil stop. We'll take a look at that at some other point in time. Um, so basically the thing is, is that if this thing does well and survives its initial trip to the range, then if I like it, I'll go ahead and give it the sweet, sweet, sweet operator paint job that we have here and let it wear out like crazy because it's never about the paint job. It's all about the wear. Unless you're online in some form and people think that you take steel wool and just gently wear your gun in. Like, right there. What is the black right there? Let's see fucking where your finger goes, dummy. Anyways. So, what do I think of it so far? I like the mount better than the optic. Um, I think right now I should have spent $80 uh, elsewhere, or $89, whatever it came, came out to, um, just getting a different reticle. But, there's always a but, and you know me, I'm always about the but. I'm going to go ahead and stick with it, see how I feel about it, run it to the range, test it out, see what people think about it as well. So we actually will have a team of people reviewing this optic and a couple other ones that we have out there. They're lower priced LPBOs. We have the Easy Shoot and then we have a Vict Optics. Uh, they're all one to sixes, including this one. So, uh, one of the reasons I did pick this up though is that I do have a lot of guns. And so, when you have a lot of guns and you're outfitting all of them, money can be a, kind of an object. Uh, <laughs> and it is an object. So, yes, people are going to sit there like, oh, why didn't you buy the $700,000? I, I don't care. Like, and it's not that, I'm, that this is a just as good as optic. It's not. It's, it's not. Okay. So when you're out there with your night force attacker, you're one to eight, you're whatever they are, and you're like, oh, it's copium. Oh, it's just, just as good. No, it's not. I'm going to admit, you know, no, not admit. I'm going to tell you it's not. Um, quite simply, it is an $89 LPBO with a mount. That right there should tell you everything that you need to know about it. Um, is it going to work? Probably. Is it going to be okay? Probably. Is it going to be great? Probably not. Um, is it going to be something that Brass Fax is running in the desert and super excited about with Hop? Well, probably not. Um, you know, so it's not even like a three hundred dollar you know Sig optic. It is a ninety dollar, eighty nine dollar you know optic. So, but that is all we got for right right now. We will go ahead and run this out at the range, do some more filming on that, and rock that out for you. And we'll be back with some impressions of what we think about this optic once it gets going. Does it suck? Is it? worth keeping on? Is it worth just chucking the key in the mouth? We'll see.